Good morning. I am Maruna Surfchis from company Enre, uh, Bentley Channel Partner in Lithuania. Uh, today we are presenting together with uh, our colleagues from Vilnius Tech uh, University, Sigimantas Pagalis. Uh, we, as a Bentley Channel Partner, uh, cooperating with Vilnius Tech University um, since uh, 2007 when they became a uh, Bentley Academic Campus um, uh, subscribers and uh, in uh, 2016 we have made uh, together with um, Vilnius Tech uh, first uh, a pilot project on uh, digital city uh, creating a, a prototype of um, Vilnius Tech campus. Um, we used the reality mesh uh, building information modeling uh, solutions to join uh, those technologies together and demonstrate the capabilities of uh, digital cities. So uh, afterwards, uh, Vilnius Tech um, uh, University uh, has uh, uh, invested in uh, Open City Planner uh, technology investigation and uh, created the campus um, digital twin. So I I will let Zygimant uh, us to present this project today. So hello okay. everyone, and yes, well, today uh, I will present digital twin of Simleticus. So what we do, what we've done, sorry, yes. So our idea and vision was to turn Vilnius Tech Soletico campus in a repository of information where we can store all the data we have uh, from uh, earlier uh, inventions and uh, doing something. We had a photogrammetry model of a university campus. So we thought about a digital twin and we had an open city planner idea. So what we did is uh, created uh, the plat. We created uh, the data. We took platform as Open City Planner and bring all the data to Open City Planner to create some kind of digital twin for our university students and other uh, participants. So uh, our process was to just uh, we had a reality model. We created it. Uh, and bring it brought to Open City Planner, and then we uh, added some BIM models. And of course, we had one uh, test drive of I model, uh, University's uh, central building. And um, then uh, we, where we are now, is that we have a university campus and information source for university and students. So, so let's reality model. We have a building of universities, I model implementation and BIM models, and we have a lot of point of interest for uh, data representation and other information of university. And we think about future. So for the future, we would love to see IoT sensors or other and other Lunes Tech campuses digitized, just like Simuleticus campus. And I guess uh, we we created a short video for you to understand how it looks like for real. So just you can watch it. Yeah. Uh, is it supposed to have sound? No, it, it okay. doesn't. It's okay. just representation. Jigimel does just try to comment on the game. Uh, yeah, so as I talked, we have a lot of points of interest. It's uh, very good for information uh, detailization for the other to, for students to understand where is one or other building because it's our uh, university problem. We have uh, complex uh, names of buildings. So firstly, we uh, brought up a point of interest. There's a lot of them. We created links in that and uh, you can go to other uh, information from point of interest. Then we have a 
for the um, simulation. And the, here you can see a model of uh, our the central building. Of course, we can go inside the building. We have a uh, Aula Magna uh, virtual uh, and you can just walk around in that building. It's all created by 360 photos, so it's more like uh, for visual understanding. Also, I talked about BIM models, so here they are. We have a uh, three BIM models of our future buildings. For real, this two is already built. So we have in reality, maybe we can just create reality models of them now. And uh, another one. Yes, you can jump to other pages from our digital twin. And other manipulation or tools. And if I can top something while you're sharing your project, uh, this specific project is the one that has the most page views, the most unique page views for the past few months. So it's the most visited Open Cities Planner project from every user that we have. So we, that is why we wanted you to show us today what you have been doing with your digital twin over the whole campus and how this has enabled passing information as a single source of truth to so many users that don't have the knowledge behind how to use that. Mm -hmm. It's very friendly, it's very easy, you know exactly how to use that. And that has been provided as a tool to every student that is visiting the university. Yes, we uh, took uh, our link to Wellness Tech page, so it uh, may be helped to uh, brought more people to our digital twin but mostly it was for students to understand uh, university more uh, easier and i guess that's it thank you so much as well uh, for demoing your uh, project today we have some uh, others uh, present yet uh, you saw uh, for uh, our central building and we have a simulation how our central building was built in 4D by Synchro, so I can show it too. Definitely, yeah. thank you. It's short video, but it's kind of rep representative. This simulation video is um, suppo was supposed to be accessible from the re uh, reality model as well, but um, <clears throat> currently there are only screenshots, so Shikimant has decided to include it in the presentation. And the final uh, slide about the future. Yeah. Uh, one second. So, and uh, the other future that we see, uh, we are uh, started to. Uh, 
create a reality model of uh, Lingmanu town. It's our Lingmanu fabric, where's our Lingmanu fabricas and aviation institute. And we thinking about creating uh, another digital twin for uh, uh, Lingmanu town. And also you see that on our Lingmanu fabricas uh, roof, there is a D-Box uh, autonomous drone station that can help uh, scan this town easy, more easiest. But maybe Arunas can comment more on that. The D-Box is a Lithuanian innovation for uh, autonom uh, automatic charging uh, of drones. So uh, drone is operated uh, remotely and uh, he flies down to this box and charges automatically, uh, changes actually batteries uh, with a robotic hand and uh, the drone is ready for uh, next operation in a minute. So uh, we, we have partnership with this company uh, producing this the box uh, technology and it is used by Vilnius uh, city municipality and one of those boxes is located on uh, on the roof of one of uh, Vilnius Tech buildings. So they took the opportunity to uh, to uh, capture the reality data of, of that location as well. Although it's uh, quite far away from from main uh, Vilnius campus uh, area. But yeah. uh, the idea is always to allow students to easily navigate uh, among uh, distributed, uh, widely distributed buildings of Vilnius uh, Tech University because sometimes it's uh, difficult to find when the next um, lecture will will be uh, in, in which building. So that that was one of main ideas. And I see there are a couple of questions in the chat. Uh, exactly. uh, should we answer them or, or leave? Yes. So if you're done with your presentation now, thank you as well. I think yeah. that we can uh, at this point answer the questions that we have from our users in the chat. So the first is uh, also about you, Gimandas. What are your next use cases? I think that you show us this with the new uh, digital twin that you are creating. So, any other plans? Uh, firstly, we want to create a Lingmanu town, and then we have a couple of uh, other Vilnius Tech campuses. So, mm -hmm. we want to create them too. Okay. So, and how much time did it take you to create a reality model? Uh, I can. Uh, one second, maybe it's about a month to, it's not too long for real. Uh, Linkmanu Fabrica's reality model, uh, Linkmanu Town reality model was for about uh, two weeks long. Mm -hmm. work. Okay. And another question, the building walkthrough, was that a video or could the user navigate through it like a reality model via the pop-up window? This yeah, Matterport was, technology, uh, yeah, the yeah. embedded window which pops up uh, from the reality model and you can walk through uh, freely. Mm 